Hi, I'm Dave Monte with Remax, and welcome to my video series, Everything Villages. Today's topic is more of a tutorial on how to use a new comprehensive cost of living calculator for the villages that I developed especially for you, so stay tuned. A few months ago, I posted a video about the cost of living in the villages and we got a few thousand views and a lot of positive feedback but I did get some constructive feedback and a lot of it was around some issues that I already knew which was how do you do a cost of living video for somebody when a lot of parameters are wildly different you know people have different electrical needs some of them have pools some people don't some have spas that are heated uh, food costs vary the goal of that video was just to really get what the absolute minimum and basics are. I didn't account for the size of the house, whether you had a loan or not. And I was aware of that. Uh, I even tried to record a video, but man, I was talking to myself in circles. And so I said, let's just stick to the basics. But because of that feedback, I decided to create this calculator, which is much more comprehensive and, very, and you can use it any way that is very specific to your own circumstances. Before we get started, if you would like a copy of this calculator, feel free to email me at davemontesales at gmail.com and I'll send you out a copy. It is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, so it does require Microsoft Excel. If you don't have it, feel free to email me with the input parameters that you'll see on the screen here in a few minutes. I will plug them into the calculator for you, print out your results and send it back to you. While the main thrust of this video is to act as a tutorial for this particular calculator, we will step through some topics like where you live in the villages, which county, do you get a homestead ex exemption, uh, you're going to have an, a loan, etc. First of all, overall, let's go through how to, how to use the basic functionality, of uh, but I try to make it as easy as possible. Anything that is in these blue colors, you're not supposed to make any changes to. In fact, you, I will have it locked where you can't make changes to the values in here because a lot of them are calculated based on your input values. So the cells in white are we going to be inputting values. I also try to uh, you know, doubly enforce where to input information by using these arrows. So anywhere where there's an arrow, you can put information in. You'll notice here it's only to the right of the arrow that you can put information in. Down here, I have self-inputted items, so you can put whatever labels you want down here. Like say I wanted to account for food, and you'll see that food will pop up over here, and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna use $600 a year, for, I mean a month for food, and you'll see that $600 pops up over there. But let's take that out for right now. Okay. The data that's in there currently is very similar to the parameters that I used for the companion video on the overall cost of living and again I try to keep it very standard and I'll go through the parameters and why I kept them that way and then we'll add some things in here. First of all what I allow you to do in this calculator is pick which county you are. There's a little drop down box there that allows you to pick the county. Now by picking the county really all I'm affecting is how the taxes are calculated. If you see Sumter County and I change Marion you'll see the changes happen down here to the taxes. I tried to be as accurate with the taxes as possible. You won't be able to see this when I send you it because I will hide it because it, it, there's no reason to see it. But I just want to show you behind the scenes a little bit that I actually took the Sumter County tax taxes, Marion tax bill, Lake County tax bill, so I can be as accurate as possible when I'm calculating uh, how much your taxes will be. Number one is you can, or you can pick which county you want. I pick Sumter County because 90% of the villages is in Sumter County. So if you're coming from outside the villages, not very aware of it, it's a safe bet to say that if you're buying, you're going to be buying in Sumter County. Um, but that's not 100% true, but 90% of the time. The other thing that I chose for the specific parameters for the other video was no homestead exemption. A homestead exemption gives you a $50,000 credit towards the tax value of your home but you can't apply for that within your first year. You can have it the second year that you're here. So if you buy in 2020, then you can apply the home exemption to your 2021 taxes. So for right now, because you're new, I put no in here. Is the bond paid? The bond is not paid um, in this particular scenario because most of the houses that you will look at will have a bond still on them. 
Uh, slowly, some of the ones that are uh, some of the ones that were first built here, the bond is going away. Uh, Lake County pretty much does not have a bond. Uh, and I'll just show you real quickly. So if I pick, yes, the bond is paid. I'm going to show you the number down here. This is going to change. Non ad valorem taxes is where the bond is on your tax bill. I even put a note down here that says at, you know, non ad valorem does include your bond payment. So if I say no to the bond in Sumter, uh, you can see how much, whoops, no, I'm sorry, yes, because it is uh, it is paid. Um, you'll see that my non ad valorem goes down by about 130 bucks. I had to make some assumptions on the bond because the, the bond value does vary. At the end of this video, if you want to continue to watch, I will add in how to find what your bond value is specifically. Um, it won't reflect in the calculation, but if I'm off by 10 bucks a month, you could put a negative number in and say, you know, down here, negative number for bond if you want to be that accurate. I allow you to put in the home value. And in the video, we talked about a, a home that's about $250,000. I've got my heated square feet. I have, in this particular case, no loan, so we don't have to worry about the rest of these. And what you'll see is that the prices actually come out pretty close to what's in the other video. The number is slightly different because I did take some of the feedback and adjusted some of these values for you already. All right. So that's sample number one. But let me show, let me do an example number two to kind of show you how to, again how to use this. Again, let's stick with Sumter County again because ninety percent of the people are there. We are going to stick with no homestead exemption. We are going to stick with no the bond is not paid off. But let's do a home value of like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which would be. You know, I mean, south of Sumter Landing, a designer home, that's pretty much an average price of a designer home within the villages. Uh, square feet, we're going to bump that up to, uh, you know, about 1,900 square feet, between 1,800 and 2,100 square feet. And what you'll notice is that we did, what it does is it actually adjusts what your, your electric is and some of these other uh, values over here. Let's say that you do have a loan. So we're going to say, yes, we have a loan. And we'll put that in there. Uh, we're going to put a down payment of, let's say, 150. You just sold a house up north. You have a lot of money in order to put it for a down payment. You'll notice since the down payment is larger than 20% of the home value, that you don't have to pro pay private mortgage insurance. This calculator will also show you, based on the interest rate and the term that you put in, what your monthly PMI, uh, you know, principal and interest payment will be taxes, insurance, and just in a, a bundled number down here so you know about what your payment would be. However, over on the right-hand side, we do split them out. You'll see there's the home insurance. Obviously, these are your taxes down here. And again, no private mortgage insurance here. All right, now, again, let's go back to food. So if you want to get very accurate with your budget, your food is, let's say, $500 a, a month. You might want to put entertainment in here. And, you know, it's going to be... Not, not very large, maybe go to the movie a few times. Let's put a couple hundred dollars in there because you do get free entertainment at the circle. You do have this amenities fee that pays for thousands of clubs and uh, pickleball and golf and all those things. Okay, let's, uh, I, and I'm just, you know, sort of making some things up here. Say you own a pool and you know that your, your, uh, the, the cost of chemicals and additional electrical will run you an extra like 250 bucks a month. Oh, I just noticed a little bit of glitch. I'll fix that. So that's uh, <laughs> all right. So a little bit of glitch in there. We'll, we'll we'll take that out right now. Some reason it's got a percentage, but we'll fix that before we send it out. But in this particular case, what you'll have here is you'll have uh, about three thousand dollars a month. You could put in health care if you wanted here, which is probably going to double that um, for for all of us. Um, but again, what I hope you find is that this is a little bit more flexible. Um, it should be fairly easy to use. However, if you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me. Before I roll credits, a couple of housekeeping item, items. Don't forget to hit like and to subscribe to my channel. Um, remember, after I roll the credits here, I'm going to talk about how you can find out all the information you want about your bond, how much your payment is, what the pay, what's left to pay out, what your interest rate is, all that. I'll show you uh, after the credits here, so stay tuned for that. Also, in addition, I've got a new comprehensive guide to buying and selling a home in the villages. Pretty much everything you want to know about the real estate market here in the villages. It's a free 30 page guide. You can also email me at davemontesales at gmail.com and request that as well. 
I hope you found this video informative and we'll be seeing you around the villages. Take care. So I promised uh, how, to, how to find how much your bond payout is and, uh, and actually how to find the amortization schedule for your bond, what the interest rate is, um, pretty much all the details about your specific bond. Um, so I'm going to step through that right now. It's very simple. The Villages has a website called districtgov.org. It's the kind of their municipal uh, website that handles a lot of questions that you would have about uh, you know, waste management, your water bill, uh, what the districts are. I mean, pretty much a pretty comprehensive site. So we're going to go to districtgov.org. Up in the search of the easiest way I found to get there is to go up into the search bar. If I want to learn everything about my bond, I'm going to say bond amortization. Click on that. Very thing at the top will be bond amortization schedules. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky and I'll explain where to get this information as well. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is, again, we're in Sumter County, so I'm going to click on Sumter County. All the, there are individual villages within the villages, um, and those villages are broken up into these specific units. Those units are based on the type of home that you own and the location within the individual, vill um, within the individual village. If you don't know what your unit number is, they can be found on your tax bill. All your tax bills will have a what's called a legal description of your property and one of them in there will say unit and it will tell you what your unit number is. Okay, so in this particular case I'm just going to click on unit number 122. After you click on that your amortization schedule will uh, pop up and I, what you'll find is this is going to be your annual payment is in this area. It's basically your admin charges, interest and principal. Then you're going to look at what your interest rate is here um, and then what your basically what your your balance is year over year. So that's how you find out how much you're now obviously if this is an annual payment you're going to take this number and divide by 12. You can pay off a bond early if you'd like if you just don't want it. Um, I have a free guide that talks a lot about the bond actually talks about a lot of topics within the villages you can also email me at davemontesales at gmail.com it's a 30 page free guide pretty much everything villages uh, having to do with the real estate market. I um, hope this has been helpful. And again, I'll be seeing it around the villages. Thanks.